131, before we get out of this section and this chapter, I want to show you how you can find the kth term of a, of a binomial expansion. So maybe you don't want to expand the whole thing. Maybe you just want like the second term, the third term, the eighth term in a binomial expansion. This is the formula for it, and it looks worse than it actually is. So the kth term of the binomial expansion, x plus y to the n, where n is greater than or equal to k plus 1, is given as follows. If you want the kth term, instead of using the entire binomial theorem, most likely in combo with Pascal's triangle, we're going to do n choose k minus 1. We'll do x to the n minus k minus 1, so x to the difference of these two numbers, and then y to the k minus 1. And I know that sounds awful, but I'm going to show you how that works out, and it's not too terrible once you get going. So this is asking you to find the fourth term of this binomial expansion. And you have a 12 here, right? So imagine you were trying to do this the whole way through, which is possible. I want you to hear it. You could do this the entire way through. You would have to build out Pascal's triangle to 12 levels down. So that would take us a good chunk of time, but, but we could do it, right? And if we build Pascal's triangle out 12 levels down, then we would start with our, we'd have 13 terms, right? And our first term would have that binomial coefficient of 1, and it would be 2c to the 12th, negative d to the 0, right? And then we would do 2c to the 11th, negative d to the 1, as we started expanding our binomial. And this is saying, no, don't do the whole thing. Just find the fourth term. All right, so let's try and line up the numbers in our terms, or at least the, the numbers and expressions in our example with what's going on here. All right, so in this case, our n the power we want, the exponent we want, is 12. So let's keep that in mind. n is equal to 12 in this case. All right, we would like the fourth term. So k is equal to 4. All right. x is getting played by 2c, and y is getting played by negative d. So if we're going to really sub this out, x is like saying 2c in this case, and y is negative d. So if we want to handle all of this, these are going to be our substitutions as we go through. So if I want the fourth term, okay, according to this formula, I will have an n up here. So I want 12, and then I want to choose k minus 1. So let me write 4 minus 1 here. And then I will have x, which is 2c, raised to the n minus k minus 1. So I want to do raised to the 12 minus 4 minus 1. And then I want y, which is negative d, raised to the k minus 1 power. All right. So if you want to go step by step along that formula, that's what it looks like. I feel like when we do it this way, it makes it a little bit more convoluted than it needs to be. So let's, let's think about this. If you were going to do the binomial expansion, all right, if we were going to really do this, we know that if I was going to go through this, it would be 12, 2, 0, and I'm going to lead back to this, right? 12, 2, 0 times 2c to the 12th, negative d to the 0, right? That's the first term. And then the next one is 12, choose 1, 2c to the 11th, negative d to the 1. And then the next one is 12, choose 2. Oops, it's not a fraction. 2c to the 10th, negative d squared. And then the fourth term, you see this first term, second term, third term, we're about to do it. The fourth term is 12 choose 3 times 2c to the 9th negative d cubed. So there's the fourth term. We got it just through expanding, but I want you to see that that's what this is about to pop into. right? What is 4 minus 1? It's 3. So you see this is 12 choose 3. All right. If we do 2c raised to the 12 minus 3, right? what is 12 minus 3? It's 9. What is 4 minus 1? It's 3. So you see this term popping up right here. All right, but I feel like this formula actually makes it more convoluted than it needs to be. If you want the fourth term, and you know you're going 0, 1, 2, 3 on the, the choosings of those combinations, you this is going to be 12 choose 3. Then it's going to be 2c raised to the ninth power, because if it's the fourth term, your powers went 12, 11, 10, 9, right? And then this has got to be whatever else adds up to 9, right? If this is 9, excuse me, adds up to 12. If this is 9, that's got to be 3. All right, so with all of that, let me erase this, and then we're going to just simplify the term we have. 
So again, this, this formula, it totally works, but I just, I want us to also see how it connects to the binomial theorem, right? If I want the fourth term, it would have initially been 12 choose 0, 12 choose 1, 12 choose 2, 12 choose 3, so there's my coefficient, all right? The powers on 2c would have been 12, 11, 10, so this would have been 9, and then d would have been 0, 1, 2, 3. That's where I'm getting all of these numbers. All right, so let's clean this up, see what we got. So if we're going to clean this, this is going to now turn into 12 choose 3, 2c, all right, 4 minus 1 is 3, 12 minus 3 is 9, negative d cubed. So the only thing I need at this point, and I'm going to scooch this up now, I just need to figure out what that number 12 choose 3 is. Once I find that number, I'll be done with this problem. So let's see what we got going on. I'm going to head into my calculator. All right, let me clear that out. I hit 12, math, PRB, option three, and I want 12, choose three. So it looks like that's 220. All right, so this is 220. Um, I do need to figure out what two to the ninth is. I also don't know that number offhand. Two to the ninth is 512. And then we'll have C to the ninth times negative D cubed. So I'm going to clean this up. Um, actually, let me see what 220 times 512 is. 220 times 512 gives me, oh my, um, 112,640. And I don't want to forget this negative in front of it. So ultimately, this is negative 112,640 c to the ninth d cubed. That is the fourth term if I was going to expand this binomial. All right, so with that, that gets us to the end of this section and this chapter. All right, so as of now, we should be able to evaluate the binomial coefficients, whether you wanna use the factorial formula, or you want to do this on your calculator, or you wanna use Pascal's triangle to help you with that. And we should be able to use the binomial theorem to expand binomials. And if you want, or if I ask of you, you can find the kth term of a binomial expansion. All right, so with that, that's going to wrap up Chapter 9, and we've only got a little bit of the class left. You're almost there, gang. All right, thanks so much. I'll see you in a few. Bye.